Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, September 21st. We are racing through September. This is Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. Sunday, September 25th will be our new moon with just a little bit visible because uh, it's not eclipsing the sun. Speaking of the sun, we have a lot of sunspot activity in the southern hemisphere at this time. Not sure what's going on on the back side, but uh, these are some good good things that could create some aurora and like that higher latitudes. I think we actually had aurora last week down to Wyoming. It sort of was a surprise to heliophysicists. First day of fall hits Thursday, September 22nd, 7.04 p.m. Mountain Time. Uh, meteorological fall begins September 1st, but this year it didn't feel like that at all. We were still hitting 90 pretty easily uh, right up to yesterday. But uh, the cool air has arrived right in time to match astronomical fall beginning. Nothing changed in the drought between uh, last week and this week, except the exact placement of my Longmont pink dot. So nothing changed there. But nationally, there's a little less drought to our south and a little bit less drought out in Nevada, a little more in California. But it is cooling off and they are getting water now. So right along I-25, not much happened. I got some light sprinkles and like that. The western slopes got a um, moderate amount of water and then we had some activity out on the eastern plains. Looking at severe weather as it expands and peaks around the end of June and backs off to the fourth week of September. Got just some out on the plains. I'm actually going there uh, this weekend, but we'll see what happens severe weather-wise. Looking at the actual forecast for severe weather, we have just general thunderstorms as this front and system moves in. Where the low is located in the upper level cool pool, uh, they may actually have a marginal and slight risk near Salt Lake City. There has been tornadoes and things like that in Salt Lake City in the past. For Thursday, general thunderstorms along the Rockies. Friday, we get high and dry with storms to the south. So flooding rains are possible uh, from the Continental Divide and uh, westward and southwestern into Arizona and up here in Montana, Idaho. We have a cold front that's now made all the way down elevation-wise draped along the mountains and now down into northern New Mexico. For Thursday, at the front, another front coming in to kind of reinforce showers briefly. Then all that moves out and we're gone. Smoke-wise, Wednesday to Friday, pretty high and dry and clear. So the big event is what is just beginning as I record this on Wednesday. Uh, about 24 hours of showers. I did not mean that to rhyme. And then at the end of the month, there's a little bit of return of moisture. That could become more significant as, as we get closer. But it's hard to forecast the next storm until the first storm is gone. It's one of my mottos. Our normal temperatures are dropping pretty quickly from normal high of 76 to 72 and 46 to 42 normal low temperature in the next 10 days. So you can see the moisture is back finally. Uh, we have a low sitting out here and from Tuesday into Wednesday it's kind of concentrating, pulling moisture in. We're actually going to have um, significantly almost twice as much atmospheric moisture on Wednesday night into Thursday morning as we normally do at this time of year. Um, but the problem is the storm itself is not going directly over us. It's going to pass to the north. So we're, we'll get some lift and we'll get some precipitation, probably a third of an inch to a half. Notables in the upper air over the next uh, week or so. Fiona's still spinning out here, but it's going to curve out to sea. Last week we didn't know because it hadn't even formed yet where it would go. Uh, here's our giant high over Texas. Here comes that low coming in from the Pacific Northwest, bringing in showers across most of Colorado for Wednesday night, Thursday morning. Monday noon, ridge is back in the west, trough in the east, and that's pretty much brings back warm temperatures, so it'll be above normal once again. Let's put this in motion, keep an eye on Fiona going away. Here comes that big trough into the west and it goes up into Montana over us. We, we definitely get a trough dragged across the state so we do get colder and get some showers. Then we have the ridge rapidly building out west. Northwest flow a lot for a little bit for us. 
this is Monday next week into Tuesday, Wednesday. And here's an interesting thing. I think this is called 98L. And right now it's just an investigation like Fiona was. And it would be called, um, I had it in my mind. Oh, it's uh, Hermione. If, if it is the exact next storm that forms, uh, it would get the H name Hermione. So temperature wise, Kind of weird because nighttime temperatures can be above normal while daytime temperatures can be below normal. So you see it popping back and forth between purples and blues and reds. And that's not because it's really warm. It's just uh, warmer than normal, which you can see it was dropping into the 40s. And then in Monday and like that, we got another cold front heading down on the plains, but lots of warmth in the west. All right, so looking at moisture, again, here's the super concentration of moisture for Wednesday to Thursday. Wish we could get more actual rain out of that, but it definitely will be cloudy and humid. Then we really rapidly dry out, and really nothing happens until later next week. Uh, do we get some of the moisture feed up from the tropics again? And there it is trying to come up on Tuesday in Arizona, Four Corners area. Utah, and then finally into Colorado for Wednesday and Thursday. Here comes possible Hermione. Again, where it's going to hit from Texas to Florida to curving out uh, to sea, it's all up for grabs. It's just a wide uh, spread of possibilities. So for showers, I'm just going to look at the early part here. Here comes all our 24 hours of rain or so. Western slopes get another shot. So you might have some storms Thursday afternoon if a little ripple comes through, and then it's a dry, 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 dry. So for precipitation, about about a quarter inch to th half inch or so is most likely about a third of an inch along I-25. Some pretty good water in the western central mountains and southwest. Four Corners area needs it. Add five days, get the full 10 day, and everything gets just a little moisture with later showers, but not much changes in the overall pattern. Temperatures in the 60s, Wednesday and Thursday, and cool with a pretty good chance of at least sprinkles and mist and drizzle, if not some periods of rain. We warm up pretty quickly to the low 80s, bounce back down to the 70s, and then try to get back to the 80s with a hint of some moisture coming back on Tuesday, maybe a little bit more beyond that. So here's uh, Hurricane Fiona. It's pretty darn strong, but it's staying out here. It is going to um, threaten Bermuda, but it looks like it's going to pass to the west, northwest of it. Then it goes up here into uh, Nova Scotia. So here is the early model runs on uh, 98L. Um, this, since it really doesn't exist yet, everything possible is still on the table. You just have to watch the weather and wait for something to actually form. We can get a good hook on what what's there and where it might go. Longmont Leader and Broomfield Leader have frequent weather updates by me and local news that's great to read. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.